Putin bad news. Wagner's leader has warned Putin that his army may leave Ukraine. After months of fighting, Russian mercenary group Wagner's founder Yevgeny Prigozhin said on Tuesday that Wagner was not sure if it would remain in Ukraine now that it had captured the eastern Ukrainian city of Bakhmut. Wagner mercenaries have been present in the past and still have a few active contracts in Africa and the Middle East. Russia could face a revolution similar to 1917 and lose the war in Ukraine unless changes are made, Prigozhin warned last month in a scathing attack on Vladimir Putin's invasion strategy. Russian forces conducted a massive attack on the Ukrainian city of Krivi Ri during the night, inflicting casualties estimated at 10. According to a telegram post by city mayor Alexander Vilkel, as of 1300, 1000 GMT, 10 people have been killed, another person is feared buried under the rubble, and another 28 have been injured. According to Ukraine's top military command, their air forces shot down at least 10 of Russia's 14 cruise missiles and one of Russia's four Iranian-made drones. After months of fighting, Russian mercenary group Wagner's founder Yevgeny Prigozhin said on Tuesday that Wagner was not sure if it would remain in Ukraine now that it had captured the eastern Ukrainian city of Bakhmut. Wagner mercenaries have been present in the past and still have a few active contracts in Africa and the Middle East. Russia could face a revolution similar to 1917 and lose the war in Ukraine unless changes are made, Prigozhin warned last month in a scathing attack on Vladimir Putin's invasion strategy. One pro-Russian military blogger has claimed that a missile strike has killed a Russian general commanding troops in southern Ukraine. Ukraine has liberated a number of villages in the southern region of Donetsk thanks to their counteroffensive, and one of the most prominent Russian bloggers, Vankor Kotanok, has reported that a senior Russian officer was killed there. The blogger, who has 423,000 subscribers on Telegram, claimed that Chief of Staff of the 35th Combined Arms Army, Major General Sergei Goryachev, was killed, as a result of an enemy missile attack. The armed forces of Taiwan have published a defense manual that uses cartoonish depictions of Chinese and Taiwanese soldiers to help readers tell them apart. The latest revisions to the defense handbook were made public on Tuesday, and they included information on how civilians can use smartphone apps to locate nearby resources like bomb shelters, water, and food. After receiving feedback that the book needed to better reflect the conflict situation in the wake of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, Taiwan's defense ministry added a colorful graphic with a 14-point guide for civilians on how to prepare for war scenarios, the ministry said. Images show Ukrainian troops from the 10th Mountain Assault Brigade, Edelweiss, near Bakhmut in the Donetsk region using a BM-21, Grad, multiple rocket launcher to fire a rocket at Russian positions. After receiving feedback that her new book was negatively impacted by its Siberian setting, author Elizabeth Gilbert has decided to scrap publication. Bloomsbury announced the novel last week, titled The Snow Forest, with a release date in February 2024. The 53-year-old author posted a video to social media to address criticisms of the subject matter of the snow forest in light of the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Gilbert is best known for her 2006 memoir Eat, Pray, Love.